Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev XR. Today we're going to look at how we can stop players from putting their head through the wall or through objects in general. Stop them from being nosy a little bit. So what we first need to do is actually go into the motion controller pawn and set up a collision object. So we're going to use a sphere collision which needs to be a child of the camera. This just means that when the camera moves the sphere will go along with it and we need to set the collision preset for this is to block all this just means we're not just going for the one object and for that we're going to set the radius to 30 this little one for the radius is just a bit play around but I found the radius to 30 is pretty good and then actually keeping it in the default 000 is quite good so in the event graph for the motion controller pawn, what we're going to need to do is create an event begin play and an event end overlap, or event begin overlap and an event end overlap. So we got these and then we can do get player camera manager and we're going to use this to create a screen fade. So we're going to do a start camera fade which will just allow us to fade the camera to all the, the entire screen to a solid color you could do this with UMG widgets as an overlay but I think this is a little bit quicker it's a lot less hassle than using UMG and trying to get that hooked up so with this done we're going to go from 0 alpha to a solid color which is going to be 1 and I'm going to set this to a light gray and we're going to do the same thing just for the end overlap except we're going to reverse the two values from 1 to 0 so we're going to go back to transparent and for the duration I'm going to set it to 0.2 seconds so it happens pretty quick because the reason I'm doing it pretty quick is we've actually got the sphere is actually quite small so chances are your head will already be quite close to it so it needs to happen as fast as possible but it's, it's just a little bit nicer than having a full snap. Another thing that I like, need to mention is this works with static meshes. It doesn't seem to work with BSPs. So the, the normal geometry that's inside of Unreal, it doesn't seem to work with this because you need to generate overlap events. So you need to just make sure that you have generate overlap events on ticked on to the meshes that you want to fade out with. So this is pretty good if you've got a massive structure and you want to fade out the walls but as we'll see in a second you might not want to do it with the hand because if we start it up and we go in and pop the hands on then as we bring them closer to our face it does a pop so it's fading out based on where the, the, the hands are oh, so that's my bad so we've got to do hold when finished so if you tick these, it means once it fully goes into that uh, the fade state, it'll actually stay there, it won't transition back, which is what it's doing, because we're actually telling it to transition back with the end overlap. So if I try that again, then when it's a face, you see it goes completely grey. That's pretty much because our hands are overlapping the sphere that's attached to our head. So with this one open, we'll drop it down, we'll use use CCD so continuous collision detection and then we'll try that my hands are doing it so it's something to do with the walls ah so our sphere I've got a feeling it should be overlap wall is this what it is? So it's overlap all not block all. <laughs> I have a horrible feeling. Yep. So that was a mistake on my part. So it needs to be overlap all, not block all, and then that'll stop your hand your head from going through a wall. So just on a different one. Oh, my hands are in, mate. And we're we'll leaning. Yep. Cool. So that's that one and 
what we want to do is actually we're going to set it up so the hands don't fade out the camera and to do that we're going to use a branch in the actor tag so we'll hook this up I'm actually going to use the false channel and hook that up and from other actors I'm going to go has has actor got tagged or actor has tagged hook that up to the same one and we're gonna name this we'll use it for the hand so no fade no fade and I'll copy that paste in that hit compile save and now what we need to do is open up the motion controller pawn and just simply using the blueprint motion controller with it already selected, if we just search tag, oh, already got it. So we fade the, we you can just create a new one and place the the tag in there. So we've got that and save. And now if I put the headset back on, hand. Now we can actually touch our face. So we can touch our face. But we can't put our head through walls and this works as well so we can actually choose any object we want so if you had something that has to go to your face or has to go on it for example so you see we've got a head we've got a mesh if you wanted to do something you change them out you could actually set it so it doesn't turn off so when they place a headset on it doesn't remove the screen but what I'm gonna do now is actually show you how we can actually write a we could put a message on there so to do this, I'm going to make some extra room and I'm going off the top of my head. I'm going to put two stereo renders. So a stereo layer on the camera as well. And I think it was world locked for the Oculus. It's what gave us the best results. And I'm going to change the quad size to 50. So it's quite small. Check my notes. So quad size to 20. So we're gonna have them quite small and run it close to the face. So you can see there's that one. And let's put it out to 10. And we'll call this stereo uh, render. Stereo render underscore left eye. And we'll duplicate this stereo render underscore right I and we'll move that over so hopefully you can see what we're gonna do we're gonna put one in each eye because if you've got one in front of you it actually goes blurry and it's quite difficult to see so with them both done they should have the same sentence and if you hit play you won't actually say anything because there's no information there so what you need to do is actually add a texture to it I have one that I created um, not in this one so let's do a new folder called textures and I'll import that one so, so content textures and this one I apologize for spelling if I've spelled something wrong <laughs> not my stronger suit but we've got you are leaving the play space please return this actually needs to have the compression settings changed to user interface 2d and then that's pretty much it I believe that's for the HCC Vive and on oculus I don't think you actually need to change this but we'll do it anyway that way we can do a cross cross play essentially thing so we can see it on all so with that in you can load it in both eyes and if I hit play on the headset so I can see it in the headset what I'll do is I'll do an awful recording on my phone which allows you to see it so you can see in the headset we can actually see you are leaving the player space please return but on the screen there's not actually anything there so this is a good way of just communicating directly to the user.
So if they're doing streaming or anything along them lines really, they won't have any issues pop up on the screen. It just makes it a little bit nicer for everyone. And what we're going to do is actually set them to hidden. So on start, we can't see them. And we'll drag them both in. And we'll do set visibility. So when the head is in the wall, we're going to say we're going to, we want to turn the visibility on so they can see it in both eyes. And then once they turn the visibility, once they leave the wall or return back out of it, we'll actually turn it back off. So compile, play, out, load into this, and. get into position so this is gonna be awkward so I can't see it in the viewport when it's not in the wall so do really apologize for the quality there so with the headset outside the wall if we go up to it and we put our head in the wall you actually see we can see the message you are leaving the play space please return but on the screen it's just grey so we do a fade and then we can give them their own little warning or just a nice little message so I hope that helped and I hope it's pretty good for everyone uh, best thing to do is always comment your code so screen fades when head collides with an object cool so I hope that helps and sort of points you in the right direction there's quite a few more things you could probably do with this it's probably possible to add an impulse or a pause so we could actually add a pause when you enter the world or enter a wall it pauses the game so it gives them a little bit of a chance to regather their thoughts or get back to where they were so if you like this feel free to like comment and subscribe and if you've got any questions or anything you want to see in the future then drop a comment below and see what we can get done uh, we're gonna work on this project so we'll work in the same space and I'll just continuously keep adding to it so we'll grow something as we go so I hope that helped so thanks for watching and bye